this, I'm first going to create a new folder in here called shared. And in this, I'm going to create a new off guard service. Okay, and I'm gonna make a new folder in here called auth. And we're gonna bring in auth guard service here. And when I look at this auth guard service, we wanna have a import the OAuth service from Angular OAuth to OIDC. So in this, okay, so we want to say Add OAuth service to Angular CLI. This npm install save OAuth da 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 dum, and we'll install OAuth. Hey Zachariah Wasim, welcome back. How are you doing today? Okay, and now we're going to have a auth guard service in the constructor called a private OAuth service. OAuth service. And I guess we'll also have in here a private router router. And we're going to say that this implements can activate, which needs to be added under here. And we want to implement that interface, which will be the route, which is an activated route snapshot, and the state, which is a state router state snapshot. And it's going to return a boolean. And we're going to do if this OAuth service dot has a valid token, then we're going to return true. Otherwise, I want to route this request to the home screen like that and that should be it for the auth guard service so we'll make it easier here by adding a new file called index.ts and we want to export everything from my auth guard service. I don't know where the zombie and the flower went. 
Good morning, Nar. How are you doing today? So now in my app component, I want to look at my TS here. And when we start it, we need to have a constructor. We're going to pass in the OAuth service. like that and I'm just going to do a this dot configure with new config API and we're going to write that function down here as a private configure with new config API returning void and all we're going to do is passing this dot oauth service dot config and I need to pass in an auth config file so we'll do that in a second this dot oauth service dot token validator handle equals new j wks validation handler and then we need to do the load the discovery document and try to log in How do you remember the syntax of JS and TypeScript? I don't know, practice? Now we need to actually create the auth config file. So in this, we're gonna do export constant called auth config, which will be a auth config like this. This needs to be a TypeScript file. Like that. And now we need to say the issuer, which is going to be https colon identity dot pixel horror studios dot com. The redirect URI, which will be the location of the window. The client ID, which we're just going to say is open DJ radio and our scope, which we're going to say is an open ID, our profile and an open DJ web API. Hey there, Santa is real. Greetings. How are you doing today? And we want to say this is a auth config. <coughs> and so now in my home component, I want to change this to say that if my ng is authenticated, then we're going to do something else div ng if is equal to not is authenticated then we're going to do something else and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a button here with a click event called login like that. And this one's going to say, welcome. And we'll do this with the claims here of the one which is name. And now that that's done, we want to show the app YouTube component. What language is used as the back end? We're going to be, you practice C sharp more, but not JS. Which language is used as the back end? We're going to be using ASP.NET Core for the back end of this project. Okay. So on my home component now, 
This needs to have the OAuth service. And we're gonna to need to have the login here, which is just going to do a this.oauthservice.init implicit flow. We're gonna have a log out, which is this.oauthservice.log out. And then I need to have a git is authenticated, which will be a boolean. And we're gonna say this.claims, which we need to define, is my OWASP service.get identity claims. And up here we'll say claims any. And down here I'm gonna say if this.claims is not equal to undefined and this.claims is not equal to null, then I'm going to do this.oauthService.load user profile and we'll return true. Otherwise, I'm going to return false. Now, there's one more thing here, which is that we don't want to load this every time, so I want to have a has loaded profile as a bool and we're going to say if this has loaded profile then I want to do a this dot has loaded profile equals true and then we'll add that up there Just wondering, would Node.js not be suitable? It would be suitable. I just like ASP.NET and the Web API and Angular are really powerful together. Santa Israel is, I'm doing good. I wanna ask you something. Do you actually work at a firm or are you a freelancer? I work as a senior developer in a company. Okay. So let's do an ng serve open and see what we got so far. So here's our app. When I look at this, it's telling me that there's no provider. So when I look at my home component, let me scrap this for a moment and just say test. Okay, that didn't do it. If I look here at my app component, OAuth service is there. So I need to add it then to the app module, right? We need to have an OAuth module dot for root. Hey, not quite. I don't use React, no. How many years did it take to learn .NET? I'm not sure. I've been doing .NET a long time. So it still can't find OAuth component here.
So in your app component dot TS, we're doing this configure new API. So if I was to comment that out, that didn't do it. no provider for HTTP client. So when I look back in the OAuth module here, we also want to add in here a HTTP client module. And that fixed it. So now we can look back here at my app component and my HTML and we can undo what we did. Look at it. Unclose div. There we go. Now when I click login, I was expecting that to kick me over to my API. Okay, so almost 21 viewers. So I need to set up my identity server and I can't do that on stream, um, but we need to set it up here with the um, new client. So I think what I'll do is I'll take a short break. We'll come back in 10 minutes after I get this set up and then we'll continue forward with our app. We're going to get the auth completed before the end of the day today. Um, and that lines us up to start our back end tomorrow. So thanks for staying with me. Don't touch that dial and I'll see you guys in just 10 minutes. Uh, we're working on getting the auth up. I can't show this part on stream. So we're actually out of time for the day, but we'll be back in the morning, 5.30 AM Pacific standard time. We'll be picking up where we left off um, and we'll have the auth working. So the next steps is that we're going to be launching the ASP.NET Core web API. Um, hooking it up with SignalR, hooking it up using uh, Entity Framework to a SQL Server, um, and then uh, connecting that across the pipe. Uh, we're not going to be using the Angular built-in HTTP request so much. We're going to be using the SignalR. So thanks again for staying with me, guys. I appreciate the support today, and I will see you in the morning. Have a great rest of your day. Bye, guys.